back live. Trying to get some more of these catfish for y'all. They're biting today. I went out and got me some night crawlers last night. They're tearing them up. Tearing them up. Boy, there ain't nothing like it. There he goes. There he goes. And he's gone. Put some steel to him. There we go. There's a good one. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on in here, guy. Oh, he's a fighter. We got us a fighter, y'all. Oh, huh? Ooh, that's a decent one. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Got him. Come on in here, boy. Don't do it. Y'all can see that or not. Yeah. Yeah, boy. They're biting today. Don't take long either. I'm going to set that back just a little bit. Don't go nowhere, y'all. Let me get this one off the hook. And we'll get out there and get another one for y'all. Try to get two on the same thing here. But what I'm doing today, I'm just fishing with, with worms. Uh, went out and got some night crawlers last night out of the backyard. It's about that time of season where they're, they're up every night. So, uh... Yeah, went out there, got me some night crawlers, and here we are. I'm just fishing about three foot down on a bobber. This is a spot where they frequent a lot, so every time I get a chance to get some night crawlers and I don't have to pay four dollars a dozen, come out here and get on these catfish. Let y'all see what a catfish this is right here. You see that fella? Look at that fella. Going back in. There he goes. All right, we're going to get back out there, y'all. Let's get back out there. There's another catfish waiting. I know he is. Get us another worm on here. Get right back out there. Big old juicy night crawler. Don't know if y'all can see that. Got him wiggling on it. Oh, this is fun, y'all. Richard Gene was right when he said this is a sport second to none. He was right. Because there really ain't nothing like it on the planet, folks. Really nothing like it. I know that's kind of hard to say. There's a lot of cool things to do, but if you ever get a chance to go fishing, you need to do that. I don't know if y'all can, y'all probably can't see my bobber way out there. There he is, yeah, you can see it. I just wanted to make sure. My setup's not the greatest, y'all. I don't have one of them fancy recording deals. Ain't really uh, got the equipment. I, I really don't have the equipment that I need to do this, but uh, we're gonna do it from a cell phone, have just as much fun. Uh-oh, there's a bite. There he goes. All right, we're gonna put some steel to him, y'all. There he is. He's on. Ooh, that feels like a decent one. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. There we go. He's not a very big fella, but he'll do. He will do. All right. Take a look at that. Little catfish. And that's what we're doing, y'all. If y'all like eating catfish, these are about the perfect size eating. And that did not take long. Boy, oh boy, they are smacking them worms. And they are not playing. They ain't very big catfish, y'all, but I tell you what, they fight. 
they will put up a fight. No doubt about it. All right. Let y'all take a look at that fella. He's got a little back strap on him, not very much. Not keeping them today. We're letting them go. Letting these fellers grow up to be big, Channel Cat. Kind of hard to find here in Indiana. So hopefully one of these days we we'll take the kids out here and let them tear up some big channel catfish. Mm -hmm. Come on in here, fella. There he is. He's going back. Hey, got two on there. Let's try to get three. Yeah, well, while we're doing it, we might as well do it right. I don't even have to put another worm on there. He didn't even eat that one. So therefore, it's going right back out there. All right. Let's get another one, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying this as much as I am. I know it's kind of hard to enjoy a fishing video when you wish you was fishing, but you're just sitting in the office not doing anything and want to want to feel like you're fishing. Well, tune into the channel, y'all. Is this nice out today? And these fish are biting. They are biting. Here we go. I think I have another one that just picked it up right there. I'm going to try to get some more on camera here for y'all. I don't do this very often if y'all can't tell. Every once in a while, I like to get a chance to make some content for y'all. I think you'll enjoy it for sure. Man, that wind's picking up. It's picking up. I think I need to get out there a little bit further, but I don't like to waste a cast. Might have to liven up that worm in there a little bit. Man, this is awesome. I think I've got two on camera, and I got another video that I made of me catching one, so this would be the first time that I actually caught some catfish on the camera. Might have had a little video a while back of after I already hooked one, but might have to do a catch, clean, and cook video soon for y'all. We got a night fishing trip planned here in a couple weeks, and uh, I think I think we'll do that. We'll go out night fishing at night. I'll bring my little uh, propane cooker, and we'll, uh, we'll do a nice video for y'all, catch, clean, and cook. I don't think YouTube will let me uh, show cleaning it, but that's all right. We can skip that. I'll show you what they look like after they're cleaned, and then we'll show you what, what they look like after we've uh, dipped them in some hot oil, put the fryer on them. Huh, I need to get out there in a different spot, I reckon. Or I might have to liven up this worm. We might not be moving down there. That's a big thing about these worms, y'all. You want them moving. If that, if that worm's been chewed up like this one has and he's he's not moving anymore, hell, throw you on another one. You ain't got to take that old one off. Just throw you a little piece that's moving on the end of that hook. And it works. It works. Yeah, 
got to be moving. They want that live bait to be alive. All right, y'all. Here we go. This one won't take long. Get it out there where it's supposed to be. Like I know how. All right. There he is. There's a big bite. I just didn't have that, that bait out there fur enough. I'm gonna get on him now and watch. He bit the hell out of that one. Oh, he's gonna take that. He's going to take that worm. Put some of this cold steel to him. He keeps messing around. Come on. Come on. I bet you he snatched that new piece of worm off her. I can almost guarantee it. <clears throat> Man, what a beautiful day. I don't know if y'all are getting the same experience I am through this video, but man, this is nice. Beautiful day. A little overcast, but the uh, sun's trying to peek through on separate occasions it's, it's trying to get through there but it's not really happening man i think he took that worm or something something happened here because he picked it up he picked that bad boy up and did something with it no no we're still good There, worm. Catch this one for us. Catch one for us, old worm. This is going to be one of my longer videos. I like it. Oh, there's a bite. Come on. Come on. You're playing with my emotions. Don't you do that. Play with my emotions like that. Might be a bluegill, y'all. Them old pesky bluegills down there messing with me. Oh, he's still messing with it. Come on. He ain't made up his mind yet. Somebody must have been telling him some horror stories about that cold steel. I'm using a true turn hook, y'all. I don't know if you uh, know what they are or if you have them near you, which I'm sure you probably do. I'm using a bigger true turn hook. And I tell you what, they are sharp. If, if you ever want to test your uh, the sharpness of your hook, run it across your fingernail. If it grabs, it's sharp enough. If it just slides across your fingernail, it is not sharp. I learned that from Uncle Daniel. He taught me that a long time ago. And it works. If you can slide that across your fingernail and make a little scratch in it, you're hooked up. You can just about hook any fish you want. People out here looking at me like I'm crazy. Talking to myself in a boat. Whoa! And I mean a whoa! I think I'm crazy now. I've been watching too much Richard Jane. I tell you what, he's uh 
he's the modern day Bill Dance for kids nowadays. I don't know if they they watch fishing videos. I'm sure some of them do, but when I was a kid, Bill Dance was uh he was on TV just about every morning. And uh tell you what, there wasn't nothing like watching old Bill Dance get out there and get busy on them bass. But now I like to watch Mr. Gene. He's kind of unedited, just does his own thing out on the boat. He has a fun, good, clean fun too. That's a, that's a big part of it, you know. You gotta keep it good for a, a wide variety of audience. And uh, it's not easy sometimes, you know. Try to get out here and get content. And I really appreciate what the man does because uh, he's got it down pat for sure. I'll get there with you. I got 29 subscribers right now. <laughs> I'll be there one of these days, I imagine. I'll stick with it. Oh no, my phone was a rock in there. Well, I say he done took that worm too. I don't know what's going on with this fish. He don't want to come in the boat. He don't want to get in the boat. Well, I've got salad for tonight anyway. Oh, see that salad on there? That's good for you. Papa used to mix that up with some ham. Mm, 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 mm. Good stuff. Old squirrel gravy. Come on, catfish. Where you at? I can't record 20 minutes now. Been 17 already. <laughs> <laughs> 